So quackers, when can we expect the customary Arsenal bottling? I get it. I really do. I, I get that question, even if you are a mean-spirited old trout. And yes, results weren't going grand for us, but we've 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 had a good meet. We had a good talk. We figured a lot out. And I promise you, I do. I lay my soul on the line. I lay my heart bare. There will be no bottle jobs. Every single point from here until the end of the season will be claimed by us. Boys and girls, what is good? And welcome back to another episode of QTV with me, your boy QTV, emphasis on the QT, because I am one. I know it's been a long weekend without your favourite 26 year old pretending to be an amphibian, but I am back. And hopefully a little better off than those fake Crystal Palace gets the mascots wearing. Honestly, <laughs> I've just had a really, really shite week. And I'm not going to lie about that. It's just been pretty awful. And I just needed some time to myself. Because it was already just coming off the anniversary of my mum's passing, which is about five years from now. And then a million other things decided to happen. So, you know, not great. But Joe Reader on dancing feet. Could cheer any man up. I mean, I'm not quite sure what EA were thinking in the celebration, but you know. Fair play for the Michael Jackson throwback. Big respects for paying tribute to the, the King of the Moonwalk. Crystal Palace, though, were not keen to pay tribute. To be fair, I've actually got to say as well, if you're going to make a player do a moonwalk, uh -oh. maybe make it a player as smooth as Pierre and Damian. What? A strike finesse shots the most underpowered shot on the game it bends disgustingly into the top right now I'm joking finesse shots are absolutely broken and I absolutely took advantage and I've got no qualms about it as as a Bamiyang <laughs> as a Bamiyang decides to take revenge finally for me taking the captain's arm band off him by tripping up Nuno Tavares as I attempted to pass to him. You know, you've got to give it credit to Pierre. He played the long game and it's absolutely paid off for him, wiping out my defender and letting Pilis score. And you could see from then on, we were on the back foot. A reverse pass that no Crystal Palace player has ever, ever been capable of. A run no Crystal Palace player has ever been capable of. And Ramsdale bottled it, but... <laughs> Deny! Sit down! You might have been wondering why I wasn't too upset. Well, then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on. The Lino did us a service. I had to chat with Mike Riley. We cleared the air and the refs are back in my back pocket. We drive forward and. Quack. Martin Erdegaard looking more like his face scan every day and looking more deserving of the face scan in particular. Martinelli drives forward 54 so <gasps> go on go on please we need this nope it's a good save from Vincente Guaita to be fair Palace 82 minutes on the clock they I'm not even gonna lie they had us on the back foot they had us struggling they caught us lacking and demanded we hold court but it was end-to-end -end stuff it was like a heavyweight title bout and Banffy nope found the hands of Vicente Greater once again. It just, I'm going to be honest, it just wasn't to be. Nope. It was a tough game. Palace held out well and it's a good thing I didn't promise to win every single point from now on. But we had some business to take care of. I'm a big, so. big believer in innocent until proven guilty. So we'll just consider it a suspension because... EA don't care and just leave everyone in the free agents anyway. It's where Granite Jack can literally wait for six months. As you can see though, Basuma's replacement already signed 41 million, slapped on the table. Calvin Phillips, he missed his buddy Ben White. He missed him. He needed to be re reunited with Benny White and we let it happen. So Calvin Phillips will be coming to Arsenal. But, will three points against the boys from down south be coming back home with us. The Brighton boys, home of the furry. 
I've told this story before. I'm going to let the game play for a bit. It's a pretty good game, so keep it up. Anyone from England knows the stereotypes come out of Brighton. They're not particularly nice about kind of people's sexuality. But literally, I am not joking. The last time I went to Brighton, within two minutes... No, 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 that, that's, that's an over-exaggeration. Within two seconds, I walked off the train from down in London and there was a man with a, perp a pink tail, which I pray wasn't held with a butt plug, some furry pink boots on, and some furry mitts, some legitimate like cat paws on his hand, and they were all bright pink. And you know what? Whatever you do with your time, respect it. We've got a penalty, by the way, for anyone, you know, who wants something boring. My story is much more interesting. I've got absolute respect for you, no matter what you believe, no matter what you think. But the fact I saw that within a second of leaving a train into Brighton. <laughs> you know what? Live your life. I respect it. I would not have... I don't have the bravery to go outside if my hair ain't looking on point. So, you know, to go out with a literal butt plug in... Fair play, lad. Nothing but respect. Also, thank you a lot to who are watching right now. You know, I really appreciate you waiting for me. Been waiting for my dad for a couple of years and he still ain't returned. But, you know, any day now. We come forward to one nil to the boys. Banffy finds a look at this. And, to be honest, nothing comes of this attack. I just wanted to show that past the tyranny so I can show off how great my vision was. I mean, it was pretty outstanding. We get a freak with holding. And you know what I'm going to do when Thomas Party gets into this. Wipe this pain! I hate my... <sighs> Fun. But Banffy comes forward, plays through by Mohammed. Look at this. What a signing he's been, by the way. Man has not moaned once despite being nothing more than a rotation option. Banffy boy makes it two against Brighton. Obviously, he's played for Crystal Palace, so he hated it there, actually. So I don't know if it's much of a rivalry game. It's not a rivalry game. We are going to smash that... Um... I don't think you need... I, you're 2 on down, pal. Yeah, you know you're losing still, Sir Harris. Harris Seferovic, you, you, you're aware it's... Fair? Anyway, we come marching on. Kieran Tierney finds Gabby, party Martinelli, and we went 2-0 up. Big Seferovic decided he wanted to try and interrupt the party, but when the party starts... Gabriel Party Martinelli makes sure it absolutely never ends. 3 1 to the boys, and as they say, that is truly all she wrote. Game done. I know I promised I've uploaded this week, by the way, but obviously with. I. I wish I knew you boys like that. I wish we were boys like that. Like, we're boys, but we ain't boys like that where I could delve into some of the shit my personal life's been going into because it has been. Genuinely, no words. Adam Armstrong, no stretch Armstrong himself. The man I said was probably frop in the Premier League. Southampton. We are still down south as well. We got to stay down there. We don't want to stay there any longer. All Southampton has that I know of is a pretty nice market. I literally know nothing else about Southampton. Gabby Martin earlier there. With the absolutely beautiful Bonnet and Smith Rowe. He must have seen a fit girl in the sand and decided he was going to give her the ball as a present, but he's probably just hit her on the head yet again. Honestly, just showing off how great my passing range is. It's pretty elite. There's a reason I'm one of the best FIFA players in the world. Martinelli, though, in space, and you cannot give Party Marty that space. I'm a star boy. Because he will find the star boy. Bakayo Saka, our star boy. Not mine, not Arsenal's. The world's star boy. Take that, Mason Greenwood. Gets it done. 1 0 to the boys. And we just looked comfortable. Smith Rowe, Erdegaard, another incredible pass into Bukayo Saka. Can he make it too? He can't. But Banffy must have smelled some pigs he wanted to shag because that boy was keen. 2 0 to the boys. Game's already over. I promised nine points for this episode. Seven will do. I'm not going to show the league table and, you know, I might as well say now because this game's already done. It's a wrap. They're not, they've are not. they got absolutely no hope of getting back into this. Uh, after these three games, EA decided not to save my, my game. I'm not quite sure why. 
So obviously, I replayed the games. It was at this moment that he knew. Um, he fucked up. Um. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of an idiot. But yeah, I made sure to save my game. Better. I made sure to save my game, but obviously EA and all everything with them decided not to, so all of Bamford's goals <laughs> are now wiped. I have done it, like I did replay it in the end so that we've got the same league table, so the very first beginning of next episode will show you the league standings and belief. <laughs> it is tighter than a nun in a brothel. But unfortunately... I will say Bamford won't be winning the Golden Boot unless <laughs> unless I pull off a madness, which is actually really aggravating because I scored, I think, at least five goals in this episode with him and every one of them got wiped. So cheers, EA. Vancouver, you're next. But Thomas Party Marty comes through and I've been waiting so long to do this. Thomas Party Party T T T T T Heart Zoom 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 Hey Thomas Party I've been waiting so long to play that goddamn song. It feels so good. It's so awful, but it's it's so AFTV. It's just awful. But yeah, Thomas Party wraps the game up, boys and girls. The game is near enough done. 4-1 to the boys, it's only going to get worse for the boys down south, but I guess they used to be in bottom. Bamford gets his hatty. Thank you all so much for watching, honestly, lads and, and ladies. Genuinely. I've really enjoyed commentating this again. It just, I've missed this, and I'm happy to be back, and I can promise... We, pricks. I will be back with another episode tomorrow, I do promise that. The double uploads, latest next week, I promise. They will happen. But for now, genuinely, bottom of my heart, I do mean this. Thank you all so much. This, it's honest, I've forgotten the word. This is a pain in the ass. It's just been very stressful even, we'll say that. It's been great for me. So truly, thank you all for giving me the opportunity to entertain you all today, tomorrow, and, you know, for as long as I can keep going with this. But for now, you've been a lovely audience. I've loved having you. It is me, QTV, Emerson QT, because I'm one. Peace.